What's up guys, we're here, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm bringing you a version of the Blizzard Sorceress build. Now I know that this build has been going around and it seems to be just slightly above Frozen Orb as far as a boss killer, but I've devised a build and put around something here that I think works pretty well and it's a little unconventional. Um, so I'm gonna bring you everything that you guys need to know about the skills, the Paragon board, the uh, the equipment, all the stuff, all the gear. Now, I do want to give a quick disclaimer, and this is going to be in all the videos for Sorceress going forward until the bug patch next week. Hopefully, when we get the patch notes today, they will release or at least show us that they're going to fix Sork. So, real quick, just to go over what Sork is not getting. So, right now, Storm Swell is not working. Storm Swell is not working, so we're losing vulnerable damage. Okay? Ice Blades... The Ice Blade power of Shredding Blades is also not working, so we're losing out on a lot of vulnerability damage. Now, when we get into the Paragon board, there's going to be two nodes here that still aren't working for us. One is Ice Falls, because we're not getting the additional bonus to uh, vulnerable damage. And then the other one is Frigid Fate. So these are the big ones that are not currently working, which is also why I do not have Exploit in my board, because the... The vulnerable damage for Sork is completely bugged and all this stuff is not working. So the damage you're going to see in the showcase is still very good, but it is going to scale a lot more because once they get that fixed, Source will be pretty competitive with the other classes. Now, with that said, let's go ahead and go into the skill tree. So we got Firebolt here uh, in Enhance just to get this. This is also going to be our first of two enchantments. We got Firebolt just to make everything burning, which is fantastic. Okay. Next, we are coming down into our core skills. Frozen Orb. This is also going to be our second uh, or enchantment slot here just to make stuff more vulnerable. However, we are, we are not getting that additional vulnerable damage on Sorceress. Then we're taking Devastation for Mana into Elemental Dominus for even more damage above 50. Then we're taking one point into Flame Shield for Invulnerable. Maxing out Teleport into Shimmering Teleport for more DR. Then Ice Armor into Mystical Ice Armor for that increased damage against frozen enemies. Now, if you don't want to do this one, you can definitely do Shimmering Armor. This is also very good. I really like Shimmering Armor. Mystical Armor is also very, very good. Next, we're going to come down. We have Elemental Attunement for the chance to reset a defensive skill. We max out Glass Cannon, of course, for more damage. Then we're going to come down to our Conjurations. It almost seems like a lot of the Sork builds now, we are going through all the Conjurations because it's just too powerful. So we got Ice Blades into Summon Ice Blades for cooldown. We got Lightning Spear into Invoked Lightning Spear. Now, this is kind of a weird package, and I'm going to talk about a change here. Uh, we do have Align the Elements for DR, as well as Maxed Out Mana Shield, Maxed Out Protection for Barrier and Mana Shield. So here's the thing. We're taking Conjuration Mastery for the max out. We end up getting three Conjurations roughly all the time. So getting 9x damage and 9x move speed plus 9x, or excuse me, 6, 12, 18% um, mana regen for each Conjuration is pretty good. Even if we only have two, 6, 6, and 12 is really good. Now, the reason that we're not seeing Frozen Nova here or Frost Nova is because with our with our Paragon boards, we still get all the benefits of that from Lightning Spear by stunning them. Um, if we didn't want to have the cooldown, we could take Ice Blades away and go into uh, Frost Nova, which is perfectly fine. You would just have to make sure you stagger these um, to where you like you pop one and then pop the other. Um, however, we would lose the three. Now you can do it. I'm gonna try it just with this and just show 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 this to you guys. Because the build is still incredibly strong here. Um, even with... I know we're going to deal a lot more damage to Frozen. If you do want to go this way, then I highly suggest that you swap this. Because whenever we freeze, the 15% multiplicative damage is insane. However, having the additional Conjuration Mastery and cooldown here is pretty nice. Uh, but I will showcase this like this, uh, just, so you, just so you guys can see it. Um, next, we got one point into Icy Veil just for more barrier. If you didn't want this, you could definitely just do align the elements for more DR. That's perfectly fine. Inner Flames into Devouring uh, Blaze for more damage. And then we're maxing out Permafrost, Icy Touch, as well as Horror Frost for even more damage. Now, our secret tech of this build is going to be Essu's Ferocity. Blizzard really excels at having a lot of attack speed, 
just so we can summon as many blizzards as humanly possible. So that way, the ice spikes, when they actually detonate, we get a crap ton of damage all at the same time. Now, if you do not want to run Esus, uh, along with Ancient Flame for attack speed, perfectly fine. You can do, I would suggest, Avalanche. For on a lucky hit, we get to consume no mana and cast a free blizzard. The damage from blizzard isn't going to do anything, but you can do this. Um, and also, another really good one is Veer's Mastery, because this is also still bugged. This applies to all elements, so you close to enemies take more damage from your shock skills. That's not really irrelevant, but you do get the 25% DR, which is pretty good. So, uh, next, let's go into the gear pieces, and I'll show you guys what I have here. So, we're doing Snow Guards while you're inside of a Blizzard. So, we're going to be up close. We take 30% less damage, which is good. We got Ever Living. So, when we CC somebody, which would always be from Frost Nova and Lightning Spear, uh, we take 25% less damage. We got Frozen Tundra. This is important. You have to have this. Deep Freeze is active. We're not running Deep Freeze, but our Ice Bikes have 50% increased exploding radius. Of course, to Bolts for damage and resource. Then we're running Esus for the crit, which is fantastic. We really need to get this bonus up. Um, we need to get our move speed up and be able to do this. So if we go into our stats, our crit strike chance is 47. We go to 66. It's kind of insane, right? Um, when we when we when we evade, our movement speed just goes through the roof. Um, next, ancient flame on our weapon, guys. Ancient flame, while both bonuses from Esus Ferocity Key Passive are active, we get 50% increased attack speed. Now, your fire strike or your fire critical strike damage is increased um, against enemies that are at 50, and then our fire critical strike chances increase against enemies. While we have both of those. Our, our, we get that insane attack speed bonus, which is pretty pretty nice, okay? Um, and then also on that, if critical strikes that kill enemies or hit a boss, grant both for three seconds. So we're always able to have Ancient Flame up pretty much the entire time. And just being able to spam Blizzard is insane. Uh, a key conceded, we always have a barrier, so 25% multiplicative damage. Uh, of course, Glacial on our Amulet guys uh, for even more Ice Spike damage. And then we got Talrashes for even more damage. And then, of course, Ring of Starless Skies. If you do not have Ring of Starless Skies, then putting in this ring here is perfectly fine. Rocking Intercom is very good against bosses. Uh, you can do this or you could do Control. Either one, either one of those powers is very, very strong. Um, inner, intercom is probably better for bossing in the end, but Control is probably more consistent across the board. Uh, if you don't want to run Esus, you can definitely run Boots uh, like this. Um, with the evade and then you can either do I've been toying with exploiters exploiters is really good but you could do conduit you could do um, concussion strikes where you have the lucky hit chance to daze them and do more damage against dazed enemies so you have a, a lot of options here but I think S is for the insane crit is just better for the build uh, okay so then we got uh, of course uh, skulls and then we're rocking um, rubies with some uh, topazes here. I think initially, I think we want to all do topazes. Sork's life on this board is so low. Um, I may go into the Paragon board and change some just to have some more life nodes. But uh, otherwise, the build is pretty, pretty good. We could probably even take some stuff out and add more life. But let's go into the Paragon board. Everything is going to be linked down in the description below, guys. The planner will be in there for Mobilitics. So uh, we actually don't even need that willpower. What am I doing? Uh, let's just grab 2% more max life. I want to make sure that I'm not, uh, we're not like expending any extra yeah, willpower, willpower, willpower. That's all good. Uh, we could probably take the seven point damage against chilled away, but I just want to make sure I'm not slacking on anything extra. I mean, we could even take some ice spike damage away and add even more life. I kind of like that just to add more life because this build sorcerers are just not as tanky. Uh, yeah, 15,000 life. That, that feels a little bit better, I guess. Okay, so we're rocking seven nodes, guys. We have Territorial, which is going to be a unique tech here that I used last season, but I think it still holds up today. All right, dealing a crap ton of damage to close targets because we are going to be very close to our enemies. But more importantly, that 50% damage reduction really helps Sork since we're kind of fragile. So I really like it. However, on this board, if you do not like territorial i will say i have tested tactician is perfectly fine okay 
You do get the 10 times uh, increased damage for four seconds. Uh, I just think Territorial is more consistent and makes the build feel a lot better. Um, next, we have Flame Feeder, of course, for more damage against burning enemies. Reinforce for damage reduction while we have a barrier always. Uh, Stalagmite, you need this for increased critical strike chance and more damage. Elementalist for all elemental damage. And then Destruction for even more crit. And then our last glyph is going to be Controlled. Uh, against slowed or chilled enemies, um, we do a lot of damage, but we do more against stunned or frozen, which is why we would have Froze, Frost Nova and Lightning Spear. So this is the build, guys. We're going to go in. I'm going to showcase a 60. Now, I know I got a lot of hate with my Frozen or build. and I mean, maybe not a lot of hate, but people were just joking and talking about... Uh, I'm also not going to run a potion for this showcase. But people were just saying, hey, you know, that's only a 50 that you were doing or something. Because of all the bugs to Sorcerer right now, we're losing probably about 120% multiplicative damage, especially against vulnerable enemies or just in general. So uh, the fact that we don't have that like ability to have all that is kind of, it kind of sucks. But uh, I mean, I just want to, oh, I just died from the shock. I do just want to just mention that like it's, it's it's very important to just recognize that like we we sorcerers really can't push right now. It's very hard for sorks to push. Um, very 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 hard. It is not super good right now for sorks to push, which is kind of a bummer. I think my my uh, I think my frozen orb sork got to, I think 80, 85, I think I pushed to. On Frozen Orb, which is pretty solid. I'm ready to see the... I'm ready to see the build really be able to push... Um, you know, past... Like, into the 120s, 130s. Uh, once all that stuff gets fixed. Now, I do... I have seen, like, Ball Lightning and stuff make a 110. So, I know that there there is some variations of Sork that can get out there and do it. Or Immortal Sork is also really good. Um, but yeah, it's just a bummer that we're losing so much. I'm not even going to grab the lethal just, just for you guys to see. But like, yeah, we're able to do this like pretty comfortably even after I just died because I wasn't paying attention. But you can really see like we're just, we're just suffering on damage because of all that vulnerability. But besides all that, uh, Blizzard just feels fine. Again, even with the Conjurations, it's pretty dang good. If you want to run double Conjurations, oh, I messed that up. So it's... The build still is really good. I will say, out of all the builds that I've tested so far for Sork, it kind of just feels like everything is comparable to each other. Like, everything is pretty even. Nothing is really... You know what I mean? Nothing is really standing out from one another like all the builds are pretty close to being the same so if you guys were doing around the 50s or 55s which i think is a very good uh like speed running or very efficient pit level then this build definitely crushes that uh we will grab protection freeze and then everything's dead so like the build, the build is still decently tanky. We can build it a lot tankier if we wanted, but we hit all our caps. So I don't think there's anything wrong per se. There we go. Now bossing is is a lot better than like frozen orb. Bossing is pretty good because we come in and we can just dodge everything, and then once we. I hate these guys, man. Yeah, once we CC him, we like they take so much damage. I think the conjurations are probably a little bit more consistent um, as far as damage, but the build is still very good. Oh, no, no, no. Don't take that. Don't take that. Damage. And Bob's your uncle, man. Besides the quick little death in the end. 
Like this this build is is fine, guys. Frozen Orb is completely fine. Or excuse me, uh, Blizzard is a completely fine build. I do think it's slightly better for bossing um, than Frozen Orb is, just because the single target damage is a lot better. So I will tell you that I would probably come back in. I would drop Frost Nova. I wanted to showcase that part, and I would definitely do Ice Blades instead. Um, it's just more consistent for sure. That's what I would do, and then you change Mystical back to Shimmering, and this pretty much feels the best. So uh, I really do enjoy this. I really, really like it. Um, again, if you wanted to have barriers up for longer, that's really solid. If you did want to max it, you could take two points out of Teleport, which is still good, and max up Barrier just to have more of a duration. Um, like, that all feels good. Being able to Teleport a lot is... I really like that better, being able to Teleport. Um, the cooldown is very important. But yeah, guys, this is Blizzard. Um, this is the first iteration. I may change the things and update it for you guys as we continue to play and just farm up. Um, I'm trying to do as much as I can for Sork with our our huge bugs that are just nerfing the class entirely. So hopefully next week that'll all be fixed. But in the meantime, we're still going to showcase and do our best for the class. So guys, like the video. Let's get this over 50 likes. Make sure to comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about Blizzard. Let me think. Let me know if you guys have some other suggestions for Blizzard that would be really cool for the build. And yeah, guys, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, stay gaming. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.